hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is anuta the crochet world and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please 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 subscribe to my channel like share and comment on my videos and today we're gonna do this beautiful pattern uh, for a hat and for this one i've used my 4 mm of the hook uh, now the yarn i have used here is a blend of a yarn so this yarn is 50% uh, acrylic and a 50% cotton yarn uh, but you can choose your yarn uh, as per your requirement now the size of this hat is around 23 centimeters long or 9 inches long and it is around 25 centimeters and nine and a half inches wide so that's the measurements and this is uh, suitable for an adult so this is an adult size and uh, i hope you are going to like this tutorial so let's begin okay so i'm going to take my this blend of a yarn now there are two fabrics in it it's a uh, 50 percent cotton and a 50 percent acrylic yarn and i'm going to use my 4 mm of the hook i'm going to make my slip knot here We're going to chain up 51 here, 5, 1. So let's chain up 51. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 49, 50, and 51. So that's my 51 chains. And now I'm going to turn my work. So turn your work and you're going to see a back portion of your chain. Now this is the back portion, a back bum of your first chain. And this is the back portion of your second chain now i'm going to insert my hook into this second chain and will grab my yarn and i'm going to have two loops on my hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through both the loops and that's your first single crochet and now i'm going to make one single crochet on each stitch for next 40 stitches so it's one two three four five and keep on doing one single crochet on each stitch each chain um, for the next 40 chains and i'm gonna meet you after my 40 single crochets thirty-nine and forty so that's my forty single crochets and now i'm gonna left with this 10 stitches here 10 chain and here for the next 10 stitches until the end of this chain we're gonna have one slip stitch on each stitch or each chain so insert your hook into your 41 stitch or 41 chain and make a slip stitch here so it's one two four five six seven eight nine and this is my last stitch my 50th stitch my 10th slip stitch so 40 single crochets and another next 10 slip stitches in total we have 50 stitches here this is the end of our row number one now for row number two chain up one turn your work and insert your hook into your back loop so for the next 10 stitches we're gonna have one slip stitch on each stitch back loop only so grab your yarn and make your first slip stitch insert your hook into your back loop of the next stitch grab your yarn and make a slip stitch that's our second slip stitch and we keep on doing this stitches so that's our third slip stitch back loop only four and here it is my 10 slip stitches back loop only and now 
for the next 40 stitches we're gonna have one single crochet on each stitch back loop only so insert your hook into your 11th stitch and make your single crochet back loop only so one single crochet on each stitch back loop only and you're gonna have your 40 single crochets and in total on this row row number two you're gonna have your 50 stitches 10 slip stitches and 40 single crochets and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is we have our 50 stitches 10 slip stitches and 40 single crochets for our this row row number two and now for the row number three chain up one turn your work and again for the next 40 stitches we're gonna have one single crochet on each stitch back loop only so insert your hook into your back loop of your first stitch grab your yarn and make your first single crochet and keep on doing your 40 stitches uh, 40 single crochets back loop only one two three and here it is i have my 40 single crochets back loop only and now for the next 10 stitches we're gonna have one slip stitch on each stitch and that will be our back loop only so insert your hook into your next stitch back loop only grab your yarn and make your first slip stitch into your second stitch second slip stitch back loop only your third slip stitch back loop only full slip stitch back loop only and here it is that's my 10 slip stitches and now for the row number four i'm gonna chain up one and will turn my work and now i'm gonna repeat my row number two for this row number four so for the next 10 stitches we're gonna have a uh, 10 slip stitches back loop only so it's one two three and ten and now for the next 40 stitches i'm gonna have my one single crochet on each stitch back loop only and i'm gonna keep on repeating my this row number two for this my row number four and keep on repeating your row number two and row number three until your row number 90 nine zero so keep on repeating your row number two and row number three here i'm doing my row number four and i'm repeating my row number two here and I'm gonna meet you after my row number 990. And here it is after my 90 rows, my work looks like this. And now I'm gonna fold this to this way. Put this together. And now I'm going to chain up one here. So chain one. And now I'm going to insert my hook into my this front loop. So here I'm going to insert my hook into my this front loop. On one side. And now I'll go to the other side. The other part. And I will insert my hook into my this back loop. So insert your hook into a back loop. So, so in the front side. Uh, insert your hook into your front loop and for the back side insert your hook into your back loop like this and take this two loops like this and now grab your yarn and pull your yarn through all your loops all your three loops and that's how we're going to make our slip stitch again into the next stitch insert your hook into your front loop and your back part insert your hook into your back loop grab your yarn and make a slip stitch here again into the next stitch the third stitch the front loop of your front part and the back loop of your back part and make a slip stitch and keep on doing your slip stitches so keep on doing your 40 slip stitches and i'm gonna meet you after my 40 slip stitches and here it is i have my 40 slip stitches and now on top of this single crochet and now we are gonna come up here on over this uh, slip stitches and here again we're gonna repeat the same stitch so take the front loop of your front part of your the slip stitch and the back loop of your back part and grab your yarn and make your slip stitch and keep on making the slip stitch for next 10 stitches and i'm gonna meet you at the end
here it is i've made my last 10 stitches as well and now we're gonna cut the yarn now remember to cut a longer piece of yarn so cut a longer piece of yarn approximately this much long and always secure your last stitch i'm just gonna make a little knot here so that it will be tight and secure Now, take your needle and go all the way around we're gonna tighten up over this top area top part this this is gonna be all right enough again i'm gonna make a knot here and tighten up my this work and we'll put my loose ends in and now we're gonna make a pom-pom here so now for the pom-pom, we're going to take the yarn and we're going to take any card like this and we're going to round it up for several times. Now I'm not going to even count how many times I've been putting this uh, yarn on, but of course for some 30, 40 times or as much as you want just put this yarn around your card like this and now i'm gonna cut my yarn and i'm gonna cut another piece of yarn like this and I'll take this out and like this. Put this in the middle and tie a knot. Now make sure that your knot is tight and secure enough so that the strings are not going to fall off and we will make a cut there. Like this and now cut your yarn from the middle like 
from both the sides. Now, always remember to keep this uh, strain of yarn aside so that you can later on tie up your work. And now, try and trim this pom-pom. Make it in a round shape. And puff up your pom-pom uh, a little bit for about 3-4 minutes or about 5 minutes. And your pom-pom, your all strain of yarns will be separated and your pom-pom will look great. So keep on doing that. And here it is. The pom-pom is ready and we're going to attach our pom-pom here. So for that one. Take your needle and simply just insert it from the front side like this. And now we'll go to the inside and attach our pom pom. And now put this loose ends in and I'm going to meet you after that. And here it is. I hope you have liked my today's tutorial. If you have liked, please like, share and comment on my videos. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you into the next video. Till then. Bye.